You probably clicked on this video to see what it would look like as a webcam. And guess what? That's what it is right now. This is the GoPro Hero 9 webcam. I'll get more into it. One second. I do have a couple cool GoPro videos coming out, including a 1080 stream so that you can see what it looks like. So make sure you click the subscribe button and uh, ding the bell so that you get a notification when I do go live. All right, so to start this off, it actually was very frustrating at first because I opened up the GoPro and realized there is no HDMI output. And I, I usually do have these like little, I have the cheap ones and I have the cam link and I was hoping to do that and it was so frustrating. And then I was like, well, maybe I'll plug the USB-C into the computer and see if that works. And it was just like not really showing. It was just showing that it was connected, but it wasn't doing anything. So basically I thought I had to buy the GoPro Hero 9 media mod to make it work because it does have HDMI out for that. Yeah, so I was doing a bunch of searches and I watched a bunch of videos. It was very annoying. I got to the point where I almost returned this thing because it was so frustrating. Everyone's saying, you gotta buy the media mod. You gotta buy the media mod. So in the GoPro community, it's like how to use your GoPro as a webcam. Apparently there was an update to the eight and so that's how it works. So you have to download this app that's called the GoPro Web Desktop Utility. And it shows up in the top, just like how it shows up here. Yeah, within the software, you could change it from wide, narrow, and linear. So that's the wide, you can see the ceiling there. I'd probably actually, let's see, if I put it on linear, let's see how that looks. A little bit more zoomed in. You can also set it to uh, 720 or 1080, which is 1080 is the default. But that's it. I wish it kind of gave you a little bit more, but that's, that's it. But it still works and that's, that's very exciting. So I was very upset with this at first because I thought I had to buy a bunch of extra gear to make it work as a webcam. And I'm pumped that it's working. It's working well. It's working well. I don't need any of the cam links or HDMI stuff. I just go right through uh, USB-C. USB-C, that's it. That's it. And I'm using like a my old PowerBook USB-C cable to connect it. So I set this up so that I have several GoPros so that you can kind of get an idea of what each one looks like. The GoPro Hero 7, I noticed with the HDMI out, sometimes has trouble. Look at that, it's it's delayed a bit. So, and it's also boosting a crazy amount of color. If you wanna see the GoPro Hero 9 side by side with the GoPro Hero 3, it is a, a night and day difference with quality. Let me just show you side by side of uh, the GoPro Hero 9 and my A6500. Uh, A6500 is usually what I use to stream, I, way more expensive camera, um, and I go out through the HDMI, but um, you can see here is the GoPro Hero 9, here is the A6500. So now you can kind of get an idea that we have the uh, GoPro Hero 9, GoPro Hero 7. I can't point to them because they're all of me. I'm going to pop in a video here so you can see how I'm doing this. Yeah. So uh, GoPro Hero 7, GoPro Hero 9. A6500, GoPro Hero 3 up there at the top. And by the way, this is all being recorded on Mimo Live. So this is like a 1080 output. Uh, so it's not anything internal in the cameras that are being recorded. It's all being recorded as webcams. So now you get the idea of what the quality looks like. So if you found that helpful, make sure you click the thumbs up button and share it out if you know somebody that might be looking for this information as well. And yeah, click the subscribe button, ding the bell. Next is gonna be a 1080p live stream in a couple days. I'm actually going up north in Australia, traveling for the first time in a long time. So that's sweet. I'll see you guys next time. Hi. Hi. I got it. <laughs>